How are you enjoying those fries? Delicious. Yeah. Hey everyone and welcome here back again on vlog number 12. So here today we're in Coney Island. Great view, great people. Chicken Alana, how are you feeling about it? Thirteen dollars for this small ass piece of chicken. Yeah, what the it hell? It better taste really good. Yeah, <laughs> we're not gonna like it afterwards. I wonder if you know that I know he's lying. Mm. You ready? Why the stop? Oh, I can't curse. Oh, no, yeah, <laughs> can't curse. I'm eating today Korean food. This is amazing, but I don't know what I'm doing. music venue because I have to write a paper and that's the whole point <laughs> of this crazy maze adventure. <laughs> Okay, so we're in Washington Square right now and it's pretty awesome you know I've been 12 years in United States and I did not know this part of the city <laughs> Okay, so we made it to the jazz bar. So finally, I'm gonna get to do my paper. Mission accomplished. Mission Where are we going? I only felt that 
Panavision right across. Right across. Yeah. Yeah. Medical. Professor is looking something GPS. I don't know what you're. We're having lunch. <laughs> Are you feeling about this? Fantastic. Yeah. It's a nice date place. Yeah. Nice. I can say hello to the camera. Okay, okay. Oh, there. Want to like make something better? Way better than killing people for a war. Well, that's revolutions are over. Yeah, but they're like there. Okay, girl. Okay, okay. Lucy, I don't know what's going on. Lucy, I don't know what's going on, girl. Good job. I don't wake up before 10, so. I love you, I love you. And my painting fell down. <laughs> Just how my life falls down. <laughs> Hey guys, this is um, this yeah. is Lucy's blog. And <laughs> do the king of the world. Go, go. I'm the king of the world. It's not daylight, it's tongues. <laughs> 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 okay, kids, we are in an art show today. You got a kid audience? Hey, I'm in my best friend's art show. Come on, look at her. She looks so cute. But, anyways, this stuff is awesome.
Today I'll talk about what I feel and what's been happening. Today I'll remember the hardships and see myself battling out of them. I had so many happy thoughts and moments, but then things started tumbling down. It felt very dark. In some moments, I didn't recognize myself or what I was doing. And even though my grades were great, my conscious, my self-being, my health was not in the best place. I felt ever so often confused about life, wanting to reach for dreams and aspirations and not being able to reach them. But I didn't want to shy away from events or friends anymore because of what I felt, the anxiety or the depression. I wanted something better. So I started going out and experiencing things, meeting people and making bonds. I might have hurt some of you and I'm sorry for those that I hurt or I'm sorry for those that I neglected. I know maybe sorries aren't good enough. So I hope that with these words that I'm saying now, if you're watching this, that you know that I meant no harm, that I was just trying to find myself in a world full of chaos. But I realized that I needed to cut these negative things away. I needed to be my own self. I needed to find myself. And the only way to do this was to experience life in different ways, with different people, in different culture, in different places. That's the only way I could know who I was, where I want to be. And still, till now, I know I have a lot to go through. But I'm not alone. There's been so many experiences this past six months. I can't thank enough all of you. All of you who have been there, the laughter, the sadness, the crying, the fighting, my change of hair, as many of you see in this video or saw often in my life. That was also part of me learning who I was, who I wanted to be, where I wanted to find myself and how I wanted to be viewed, how I wanted to view myself. Because I think that's important. It's not about how people look at you anymore. It's about who you are and who you want to be for yourself. Seeing old friends, seeing new friends, meeting new people, being able to survive the college life and the student life and the working life. These experiences have made me stronger have made me better. <laughs> like I said, I still have a lot to learn. But I feel like one way or another I'm getting there. And I hope you find as well your way through it. Maybe you already know where you are and where you want to head and where you want to be. And if you are that person, help those to reach their own path as well their own new beginnings but don't let the path of pain or don't let the path of your past consume you thrive in whatever it is you need to thrive and shine i'm here for you <laughs>